okay, now the camera's going. Hmm. You did it. Camera's still going. I just turned it on just a moment ago. So, yes. We're doing good. My friend said to have fun and don't drown. <laughs> yeah, wonderful, right? Hey, thank you. Well, I'm also in the same boat. Literally. I have a heart condition too. More than likely. I have to get tests done, but yeah. See, this is calm water. This is what we want. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Been a while. What is this project for again? Video. Yeah. Hopefully, the camera's working. It is. I'm watching it. No. Just, uh, I think we'll just scoot on by. I think we'll just, uh, I don't want to provoke. I think we'll just scoot on by. I don't want to provoke Queen Bee today. Let's not provoke the bees today. Let's not provoke the bees today. I knew we'd get one or two. I knew we'd get one or two. That's, that's how it goes. If we stay right in between these two, we'll go right past them. That's how it goes. If we stay right in between these that's two, we'll go right that's past what I'm them. Using as the as the guide. That's what I'm. That's what I'm using as the as the guide. Over. Hey, we flipped over. Let's uh, back it up a bit. Let's uh, back it up a bit. Now, so wonderful. Well, we're straightening out now, so Let's see how we go. Let's see how we go. Hey, Titanic, could we not? Hey, Titanic, could we not? Well, the good news is we're pretty much grounded. The bad news is that we're pretty much grounded. Well, the good news is we're pretty much grounded. The bad news is that we're pretty much grounded. I think we're going to be better off going that way. I think we're going to be better off going that way. 
Well, I meant just that way in general, but we can oh. stay in the water and keep Titanic in here. Well, I meant just that way in general, but we can we stay in the water and keep Titanic in here without having to pick her up. We can guide her. Because I think picking up Titanic will kill both of us right now. We will have to. Because I think picking up Titanic will kill both of us right now. And we will have to. We will have to bail. Let's blow this popsicle stand. This one? Yeah, push, push it over this, to your right. This way? To your right. This is... This is not going as well as I hoped. Hey, we're we're going over here. We're going overboard. This side's take is too much weight. I'm tipping. Okay. 
okay, that's great and all, but um, we're going that way. No, the boat is going over. Like, well, it is now. See? Well, it's enough to make it so I can't do anything. Why is it not straightening out? I don't like this. This is I'm tipping now. And this is really deep. Why am I tipping? It's not a little bit though. I can feel it. It's a lot actually. Not as big though. Not a lot of rapid here. I yeah, we're I think we're going in one way or no way. Actually, we may have just land, but... Land ho! We're here.
Then we can say we did half of it. And I think I'll take the win on that. But I have a feeling the three and a half hours we've dedicated to this are going to go very quickly. What time did we leave? One ten. Yeah, we've only been gone an hour and we're not even there yet. There's a railroad bridge. We're almost to the bottom there. How far between the railroad bridge and Eagle Bridge, though? I got them all written down in that bag, but I took this to the next one. Let's... Yeah, it looks like those logs have all got the whole stream back to Oh. That's, that's not... Bad. That's bad for the bridge. That's not good for us either. If you realize that. I don't think there's a way around for us. Oh, hello. <laughs> nice to see you. Going again. What? Camera going? Yep. First thing I did when I got in. Now we just. Know this got for a card in it. I think the battery is going to die before we fill up the card. Hopefully we don't lose all the time. No. Because if it's recording to internal, it'll stop it before it turns off. That's how that works. There well, used to be a beautiful stone arch bridge here. Hmm. In the 1927 flood, they brought four loads, four train loads of coal ash up here to weight it down. Okay, now that all the water's out, we're not tipping to the left as much, so I think it was the water. There's too much of it. There's only so much you can take on before it starts to affect your weight. Looks like we got another shallow place here. So. Great! I say they, they brought, in the hurricane of 27, they brought four train loads of coal ash up. The first one got here to the bridge. Stopped on this side on the right here. Uh huh. Conductor went across and the engineer to come on, the bridge was all right. The engineer wasn't sure, so sure he felt the bridge shaking, so he held up a minute and the whole bridge washed away. <laughs> oh my god. Um, okay, well, there's a spot up here that looks like it's a little less uh, rapidy. Can go. We just have to hold ourselves this way. Well, we can go down the side channel. That's what I'm saying. How shallow that is. Right now we're heading towards this one. Yeah, that's what I said. Do you want to go down that? Or... Yeah, I'd prefer to because it looks like it's it looks like it's not as crazy as that is. Either way, we're gonna have to get out up here. Well, maybe there might be a way through right between those big logs. I don't see one. Unless it's just perspective, which it might be actually. Yeah, maybe there is a way. It's hard to tell from up here. It looks like there's enough room. We're, f we're low enough down too that you can... Yeah. Right here we're almost rounding out. Should get over towards the shore. The middle there. Yep, we just gotta get in the middle. Or they should turn that stuff right Yeah, probably. Look at the condition of the bridge. I think we're gonna have to again? walk again. Maybe we can try towing it this time. Try that. No. You can just walk alongside it and open the bunk. Yeah. While the Titanic is sitting still, grounded in the middle of the Hoosick, I will take a few minutes to talk about what we are doing here and why. The idea was to canoe along the southwesterly border of the town of White Creek while discussing its history and pointing out historical sites. But to get to the town and county line, we would have to either canoe upstream about 1.8 miles from the Eagle Bridge boat launch then turn around and return, or else put in at one of the two Hoosick Falls launches and go down the river until we came to the line, about 2.7 miles. Since canoeing downstream is easier, we started at the old Hoosick Falls Power Station boat launch. The generating station was built around 1888 by the Hoosick Falls Power and Light Company. 
and was sold in 1908 to the Twin State Gas and Electric Company, which extended a, a power line from its Bennington Steam Generating Plant, located where the new bypass connects to Route 9 East, to connect with it. The current wars were going on at the time between Edison's direct current and Westinghouse's alternating current, so I wondered which system it used. But if they hooked the two power stations together by a long line in 1908, they must have been using AC with transformers, at least by that time. There is still a small generating station here, though the original power plant was raised years ago. However, it does not seem to be connected and operating at this time. Right downstream from the power station is where we launched the canoe. Our ride left us and we were on our own for the rest of the trip. The water was very low and we grounded a lot. At first we tried to get the canoe ashore and carry it down to the next deep section, but that proved brutal. By the time we neared the island beyond the rail bridge, we had learned it was easier to just walk down the riverbed, with me towing the canoe on a rope and my grandson pushing it. It was wet, but the water was warm. Not wanting to risk good cameras, we had four old cell phones to use as video cameras, six in total. Our good ones were kept in waterproof cases. The other three were double-bagged and one was fastened on a mount on the front of the canoe filming. That one ran low on battery at this point and messed up the video segment, which I spent over a full day on the computer recovering as much as I could. Soon after passing under the bridge, we replaced it with another cell phone. We failed to video the times we were pushing and pulling the canoe. It would have meant a lot more work and time to set up a camera on a tripod on the shore somewhere, and we were way behind schedule as it was. The bridge, you see, needs some work. In the early 20th century, at a time when steel was short, they built a beautiful stone arch rubble bridge here. In 1927, when the flood hit, they ran four trains of coal up to reinforce the bridge. When the first arrived, they stopped and the conductor walked across to check things out. When he got over, he waved the engineer to proceed. The engineer felt the rail shaking and held back, and just then the bridge went down. No one was injured or killed, but they had to build a new bridge, which is probably the one here now, which certainly is no longer in great shape. To the right up the hill is Hoosick Junction, where the rail line to North Bennington, Vermont, leaves the main line. They once had a small unmanned station here so people could wait for a train under cover. I believe someone wrote a rather sarcastic poem about it, though I can't find it now. The Atlantic Magazine wrote an even more sarcastic article in 1906 in which the author states, I never knew anybody who ever waited less than an hour and a half in Hoosick Junction. I have spent three hours there at a stretch. In the course of my life, I suppose I have lived there a month. My own great-grandfather came all the way up from Williamstown by buggy to pick up a good friend right here down once. The middle, and I think U.S. Navy I historian Edward Kirk Rawson. No mention was made of how long poor Ned Rawson had to wait for him here with only Christian science brochures like to read. I have been here once before when as a teenager I bicycled down to take photos of a train wreck to the west of the bridge. Beyond the bridge is an island that has been there a very long time, though it almost certainly has changed size and shape. We debated which branch to take and chose the left. The balloon sack flows into the right branch, and upstream from that the White Creek flows into the balloon sack. An Algonquin word for the mouth of a river is Sank, so I believe that is where Sankoit got its name, this not from a mythical um, lost French mission. William Beauchamp's original, Aboriginal place names in New York of 1907 supports this, giving the name as Sankohig. Yik, ak, uk, uk, etc. all mean a physical place or location. The original Sankohig is just behind the island. It was a major settlement in the area and consisted of three houses in 1754 when it was burned in the Seven Years' War. The only one named on the map I read is Abraham Wandel or Wendell. We will conclude this already overly long section at the island to start the next section from Sancork to Eagle Bridge is part two. Part three, not yet filmed, will be from Eagle Bridge to Buskirk to your show, where White not Creek ends. It looks like it goes downwards, and I don't really want to go down. In Titanic, you know? Like that Which seems... way it went originally here, I don't know. I don't really want to test the waters with the Titanic and how far it can go here. Because uh, going down is kind of what happened to it. And I don't really want to tempt our fate. And I have deep side is way over here to the right. Wanna turn? 
Un or do we want to tempt it? Of course, if we get hung up there, we're going to be... Well, we're going towards the shore right now. It's shallow here. Sounds a... I'm so tired of walking. My ankle is legitimately starting to hurt, too. Oh! Oh, actually. Where's the best way to go here? I don't know. That way. Can't really go that way. Yeah, that's too shallow that way, right? Yeah. It's also blocked off. This isn't much better, though. That, that pathway is also blocked off. This is your best bet forward. It's just this part you have to... Hey, guess what? We're grounded. I'm not sure. But... This has not been fun. At all. We're there. We're not there. We're getting to the point where I seriously, my ankle's starting to kill me here. I needed physical therapy. I, why? Why they said no? They don't want to pay for it, of course. No. American healthcare, baby. Again, pretty sure. Oh. I had trouble enough getting my legs over. Oh, I think I'm moving. Yeah, it's just one of those quickies get down there, probably not. There's one one to find out. One one to find out. Whoa! 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 <laughs> trying to get my legs in. Was it? Cause we're going to the left. <laughs> we're tipping. We are tipping. Hopefully, we do not fall over. I don't like the look of this up here. Now we'll see what happens. Oh. Oh no. Yep. <laughs> so did I. So did I. I said, so did I. We have too much water, too. It's not helping. 
going this way anyway, so I'm trying to keep it that way. Ankle hurts. Uh, we'll sit down and take a break. There. We need to ground this then. Pretty well grounded now. Yeah. I'll stay that way. I'll find something to sit at here. Yeah. What's going on the ground? Why do you think I was saying you're going to need to bail? <laughs> this has been rough. Not as rough as I was hoping. Thank you. 